to another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be BSL Season 13, Group A, the final match of this entire grouping. Master Ray, and it is the final final. One game apiece. This is going to be on Vertebrae. And if you have not seen Vertebrae in some time, neither have I. Uh, natural Expansion. And then it's called Vertebrae because you have kind of what's actually become popular in a lot of the map making community. We have these ramps across the middle of the map, which means map control can be critical, kind of splitting. It is a two player map. So, kind of, you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of Destination, but without a lot of the. Uh, reminds me of Destination, but with less bridges. As it reminds me, if people remember that map. The natural expansion, pretty exposed. This is a huge natural expansion to try to grab. It's almost like the third is practically easier to defend. We have this three o'clock base uh, with the gas there. Um, you have a really exposed mineral only. And so you can see where, yeah, it's critical to hold map control. And gaining map control with all of the little ridges and bumps and a huge amount of area to cover in the middle of the map makes it uh, challenging. Um, Master Ray opening up gateway first. Pretty standard play. We'll see if he opts to go ahead and build the Zealot. Thus far, game one, Master Ray getting aggressive, going for that early economic aggression with that quick third nexus. Exit adapting rapidly in game two. Barracks being planted. Looks like it is not, and I, I think this is wise on Exit's part, to not try to go for that front door seal. It's just a huge space to try to defend. Assimilator being grabbed behind this. Probe Scout making its way in rather than on delay. And keep in mind, it is a two-player map, but the other aspect of it is because it is bottom left to top right, Master Ray going for the gas deal, just missing it. Exit able to, I think he had a... He had an SCV in position above that gas, just waiting. Master A in the meantime, looks like he went Cybernex Core before going Zealot. He does have three probes in gas. Exit going to wander up and be able to get that scout without too much trouble. Looks like he's dedicating a single SCV to go ahead and harass it. This is an interesting defensive wall. So rather than building it closer to the Nexus, building kind of the defensive shell with the supply depots to the left. First Marine out, probably going to dedicate to chase down that probe. Exit seeing the pawns he's looking for is just going to camp out towards that natural expansion. And let's see if he goes ahead and pockets that SCV to get additional scouting information once again. And if Master Ray is going to be more wise to it this time. This probe escaping looked like Exit wanted to get that cutoff lane. But the Marine not reacting in time. One thing for Vertebrae is it is very difficult to go ahead and grab and hold that natural expansion. Factory being built again in kind of an odd location for exit. And you can see where it's just kind of defended back behind this. Third Marine being produced. And we're seeing a proxy factory at the 12 o'clock location from exit. So exit opting to go for a two factory opener. Master Ray currently showing indications of going for that Nexus before third pylon build once again. He has a Dragoon kind of scooting out looking for rogue SCVs. Has planted that Nexus now. Upon seeing nothing else. And is backing out. Exit being kind of sneaky and cheeky behind this. He's going to go ahead and plant that bunker up. Move that barracks in position. And act like he's going to go ahead and grab that natural expansion. So with these three marines, he's going to be able to box out additional scouting. But in reality... We are going to see early aggression. Second machine shop. So it's going to be... We'll see what kind of combo this can produce. The one disadvantage for exit is there are a lot of bridges along the way. With this split army grouping, producing... It depends on what exit produces where. But with the Dragoons at a forward aggressive position, they might be able to do more damage to the troops that are fielding forward for exit. Master Ray taking a bit of free damage on the shield. That's actually going to hurt him in his defense down the line. So Siege Tanks, Vulture Mine Speed being... Or sorry, Vulture and Mines... Speed and Mines being upgraded. Two SCVs is sufficient to go ahead and deal with Dragoons on the natural expansion. A third Dragoon making its way forward. And yeah, just playing this 
playing this as though he's just going for a natural expansion. I'm not sure that Master Ray is any of the wiser. Vulture is being produced at the 12 o'clock location. So now the question is, is when Exit closes this trap, how is he going to reinforce with this? He needs to keep that Vulture out of vision because as soon as Master Ray sees that Vulture, he's going to realize that something's up. He might have an idea that something's up upon seeing this barracks lighting up right here. The Dragoon's starting to press against this. The Siege Tank almost taking one of those Dragoons down. And Master Ray again expending health that I don't think he can afford to expend. Full bunker. A single mine being planted just in case. Two Vultures making their way to the natural expansion. They're going to get a huge amount of kills. Let's see if they plant mines first. They are going to go ahead and plant some mines behind this. The fourth Dragoon walking up and Master Ray already in position to try to sneak that third base, none the wiser. Now the trap is going to be sprung. These two Dragoons pressing forward. The mine's taking out one. The rest of the Vultures now flooding forward. Mine's being planted to cut off reinforcements. It looks like Exit is just going to dedicate just the Vultures towards that front. Now engaging with the rest of this, one SCV getting out of position. And I'm not sure if this is going to help or hurt Exit. Because keep in mind, this is a smaller attack force to engage the troops to the south. In the meantime, the Vulture is getting a lot of damage done in the main. Getting all sorts of probe kills here. The natural expansion completely evacuated. Or obliterated, depending on how you want to look at it. And the Dragoons regrouping. Master Ray at three gateways. Backing up. His natural expansion is breached. The SCVs are here. Supply depots being planted. Brilliant play here from Exit. Going to go ahead and box his Protoss opponent out. Make it difficult to cycle Dragoons out to deal with Siege Tanks. That Siege Tech and Siege Tanks going to be following this momentarily. Exit getting more aggressive, trying to pick off more probes. Down to th the 23 count right here. Does have an Observer to go ahead and clear these mines. A Siege Tank is here. I don't know that Exit has a sufficient amount of troops to defend the rest of this, however. Just... Suiciding these vultures doesn't have enough support troops. Probes getting in the fight. Battle probes. A mine drag going to kill the marine and the dragoon. And this is a, a decent amount of resources to lose for exit. So losing control. Two tanks sieging. Now attacking. This is five dragoons. This plus probe support should be able to clear this out. Walking forward. Able to get right on top of that... Southern Siege Tank, and it, the press from Exit has been breached. Now grabbing his natural expansion behind this. He is ahead in the overall worker count. But Master Ray already in position to go ahead and potentially grab his third and play the game from there. And that was a big dedication of resources from Exit. Master Ray is ahead in supply. And keep in mind, there's also this... <laughs> this is actually clever. Exit, realizing that's going to fail, he's leaving a single siege tank at that 12 o'clock location and a mine planted along that ridge to try to defend that factory for further use. SCV also kind of couched in that upper left-hand corner to maybe take a sneaking expansion down the line. Master Ray immediately grabbing this 3 o'clock. Exit scouting it. Doesn't have any mines to plant to get anything else accomplished there. Master Ray with an observer is going to be able to see reinforcements Coming across that edge. Exit did manage to get an armory down in the midst of this. Going towards that level 1 weapons. My curiosity is, you going to follow this up with more aggression? Or what's the play from here? Because potentially he could go for... I don't know what the timing ends up becoming as part of this. He could follow this up with an aggressive factory push. Particularly knowing that Master Ray went up to 3 bases. He is continuing to produce troops at that 12 o'clock location, which suggests he is going to go for some sort of combo attack. But again, depending on Master Ray's troop positioning, it could be difficult to execute. Adding a third factory now. Also getting that academy. Natural expansion's up. He hasn't grabbed that second gas, however. Master Ray, in the meantime, pumping that economy. He's already caught up in workers. Does have three gateways. In location, he's just really flooded out a lot of observers in the midst of this. He wants to keep eyes on everything Exit's doing, which I think is very, very wise. Not just because of, of early vultures, but just because of Exit's play. You can go ahead and look at kind of the map vision that Master Ray is 
able to get comparatively. Exit playing a little bit in the dark. Is going to have an academy up to kind of solve that problem momentarily, getting an engineering bay up as well. And Master Ray transferring probes to the 3 o'clock base that was spotted by that spider mine. And the observer is overhead just in case Exit did plant down additional factories and was going for something a little bit more aggressive in the mid-match. Mid it looks like that is going to get spotted. So that's, keep in mind, four factories and a starport behind this. Level 1 weapons and everything else remaining silent. Now here's the thing for Exit. Exit has amazing game sense. He's a very creative player. However, oftentimes what happens in the midst of build order adjustments, sometimes he can end up falling behind in the overall macro game. That's certainly what's happening here. Currently 68 supply to 92. I think he's... Doesn't look... I don't think he's going to go for a dropship this time. I do believe this is just to get level 2 weapons along the way. Getting that science facility up as well. He does have that, those four factories. Mastery now pressing forward with that observer. Plenty of siege tanks, though, grouping up to go ahead and... This is kind of clever. You just exit, making the best of a bad situation. He's saying, you know what? I'm not going to be able to stop your third base. This factory's out of position, so let me go ahead and just utilize this to go deny you your fourth. Very creative. A little bit of map control there, but Master Ray is just macroing like a beast behind this, tacking on additional gateways. <coughs> Excuse me. Level 1 weapons along all in line. He is going to have Zelt Lake Speed. Also grabbing a shuttle. So as far as being comfortable and playing the Gateway Man style of play that Master Ray enjoys, it's kind of what his main bread and butter, I think he's going to be in a good position to execute it. Exit does have a slight upgrade advantage. But my concern for Exit as far as this game continuing, actually getting some, actually both players getting supply blocked right here, is the ability to follow this up. And actually, Exit, I take it back. I thought he was going to go into a macro game to follow. Because he was grabbing... Oh, so never mind. That was interesting play. So shows a lot of troops moving across as though he was going for a threat. But then goes ahead... And he's backing off a little bit with what's left. Dragoons and Zealots moving forward to go ahead and engage this in the middle. However, they're end around. They're going to group up with all of the troops that are floating out that 12 o'clock. And actually exit, moving around Master Ray's troops, might be able to get position outside Master Ray's natural expansion. Some turrets being built. So using the troops he built at the 12 o'clock, reinforcing. However, I think Master Ray just has a dominant army. The Zealots moving forward. The shuttle taking some... Free damage. The Zealots getting on top of that siege tank. And I take it back. Master Ray moving in a bit piecemeal, which is forcing his Dragoons to engage as a stutter clip. And so a lot of them getting wiped out. He realizes he has to stop this now. It looks like he is just going to have so many more troops than Exit that he's going to wipe this out rather rapidly. And now Exit in a lot of trouble. So that cleaned up. Master Ray still holds the economic lead has a lot of map control. Exit still building out of, out of that 12 o'clock base. More vultures sneaking forward. I think they're hoping to peek into that 3 o'clock location. Siege tanks. Sorry, cannons there. So siege tanks would be needed to really, I think, accomplish a lot there. Single siege tank. Making these dragoons job a little bit harder. But not sufficient to go ahead and defend this factory. This factory finally going to fall at that 12 o'clock location. Now exit at two bases. Not much of a standing army. Tacking on additional factories, so doubling down effectively. Does have these two mar two, the double army behind this, but he hasn't been doing the consistent, constant uh, double upgrading in the midst of this. Somehow sneaking vultures. How did the vultures get in here? Going all the way end around. Able to get a handful of probe kills. There's already a cannon there, and the Dragoons quickly engaging this, so I don't think they got sufficient kills to really even things up. Honestly, I don't think it was a worthwhile trade overall. Master Ray confidently grabbing a fourth base. There's some mines in the way that might make it more difficult to defend that location. But he's just got twice the supply of exit currently. He's got a very strong economy rolling behind this. Is sitting at eight gateways and is going to tack on a handful of additional just getting that late game style. And exit, 
has no prospects to really grab a third base. He's just going to try to get it done on a follow-up push, and he's going to try to get it done on a follow-up push with, honestly, an inferior troop count, and potentially being behind in the overall upgrade war. We'll see. Dragoon's flooding in. Nice bit of damage there done by Exit. However, it doesn't look like enough to really concern Master Ray all that much. Some mines in the way. It looks like being cleaned up. One of them exploding on a Dragoon. That Nexus is going to come online. So that's going to be the fourth base. But Exit's going to have to gather up troops and do some sort of push. And I'm a little bit concerned with the random Vulture attacks that he's kind of sending out in the midst of this. Maybe thinking twice of it and maybe going to send out an SCV to control that 6 o'clock. But he's, had, he's plopped down six factories behind this. He's starting to continue with that armory upgrade. Dragoons with, with level one weapons, and I take it back. The forge remaining silent in the midst of this. Arbiter, Arbiter Tribunal coming online. And Master Ray very quickly wiping everything out to the six o'clock location. Vulture is going to go ahead and check that 12 o'clock. He knows that there's four bases up for Master Ray. Just wants to make sure that it doesn't turn into five. So exit now in a quandary. Can he get map control and take an additional base? Or is he just going to try to find timing and push and get an engagement from there? His economy, way behind. Huge amount of troops gathering in the middle. These zealots don't have additional weapon upgrades, but they do have that zealot leg speed. Level 2 weapons working on the way. Second forge being planted somewhere on the map. Right now, Master Ray's main looking a bit thin, but he's still got three very well-saturated bases. In the meantime, exit completely, nearly completely mined out at that main. That natural expansion is all that's going to be running for him. Able to sneak in vultures in that bottom right-hand corner. Quickly wiping that out. However, Master Ray might be doing him some favors because he's practically maxed at this stage. Moving in, just checking that to the clock location just in case. Master Ray at this stage kind of splitting a lot of his troops up and I think playing whack-a-mole. Just making sure that Exit didn't sneak in additional expansion. Exit, in the meantime, does have that science vessel up, is grouping up with siege tanks. Maybe because of the... For Exit to come back in this match, what he needs to do is he needs to find a siege location. Find a nice little gap where the siege tanks can just pummel Master Ray's troops and just hope that Master Ray completely flubs the engagement. And gets in it and basically attacks when he really shouldn't. And it doesn't look like Master Ray is opting to do that. Instead, he's attacking where Exit's army isn't. Clearing out a lot of, a lot of mines and maintaining map control. Regrouping this army to make sure nothing slips by. Single Volt. I was hoping that was an SCV to sneak something in that upper left-hand corner. Looks like a very late third base being grabbed from Exit that 9 o'clock location. Master Ray at 200 supply. So now he can start expending troops at leisure. He's going to probably, yeah, looks like he's going to wait on this first Arbiter. And this this is, shows you Master Ray's play style. At 200 supply, his first Arbiter is popping out. It shows you how much he loves relying on the Speed Zealot Dragoon compositions off economic advantages. Surrounding to the north, looks like finally an Observer in the base getting cleared out. Some mines there to hold, but you can see Master Ray starting to gather troops up. Little pockets of hotkeyed units to potentially crash down on you on attack forces. The other option is just starve exit out as soon as an opportunity presents itself. Looks like he does have a pro towards that twelve o'clock base, setting up to go ahead and grab things in that bottom right. A single dragoon dying to that vulture underneath. As things stand. Looks like Exit is going to have that upgrade lead. He's continuing to climb in supply behind this. Actually surprised Master Ray is not going for recalls or anything else behind this. He is at 200 supply currently. And locked up. Maybe he just wants to go ahead and set up refugee status behind this. He knows he has Exit locked into three bases and can starve him out over the long run. Is building a sizable bank. And positioning troops around. But... Oftentimes, if you want to allow a Terran back into a match, the best way to do so is to just give them an opportunity to go ahead and hit 200 supply and just hit hard with just uh, a lot of siege tanks and everything else underneath and just get nice engages. Exit pressing forward. Master Ray with a nice concavity, unfortunately. 
exit now sieging right as the zealots are right on top of his siege tanks fortunately the zealots nice emp actually it's going to soften up the zealots to the right a great stasis catching both science vessels Comsat's being forced now because vision is gone and zealots marching across that ramp to the south exit supply has plummeted and more zealots storming into that nine o'clock location this is certainly going to be gg Exit being eliminated from Hasu League. Good luck to see him next season. I would love to see him next season. Master Ray advancing to the round of eight. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.